Welcome back to our restaurant project. In this video we're continuing to build our user interface. In the last episode we created a greeting to the restaurant. Um, we created an instance of menu that people will have to look at after they sit down in order to order something. And we also um, created a selection of what they want to look at first, appetizers, noodles, main dishes or beverages, so they can look at a section of the menu. What we'll add is the ability for them to choose between looking at a section or looking at the full menu. So let's go up here and we'll say system We'll just say put in the comment read full menu, and we'll say system dot out dot print ln quotes. Would you like to view the full menu or just a section? And then we can put in full as our choice or SEC as our choice. And then what we want to do is get the answer from somebody. So we'll say string, let's go ahead and put our comment in, get the answer. So we'll say string answer is equal to scan um, sorry, reader dot next. And if we go up to the top, we can see up here that we have created an instance of the scanner class. You, you could also use J input if you were doing a graphical version of this. All right, so then we scan in that choice and So now we need to make sure, um, continually ask, check for if they want full or section. So we'll say, check for answer, so we'll say while answer dot equals ignore case full and we'll use ignore case because um, we put it in quotes I mean we put it in capitals so they can either type in capla or they might be lazy and type in um, full as a lowercase so we'll just use the ignore case so it doesn't matter or answer dot equals ignore case and we'll SEC curly race And then we need to um, get the user input from them. So we'll say answer is equal to reader dot next. And then this rescans the input. Um, so now we're dumping full or um, section into our answer variable and writing overwriting it. Now if we wanted to check if um, what happens if they type in anything else, like they decide to be funny and type in another word. So if we want to check and only allow them to type in full or sec, and if they do something else, give them a um, an invalid input message, then we can say while not, we'll use the Boolean operator 
not and say while the ans while not answer equals full or um, answer equals sec so got to add another parentheses then what we want to also do is print out a warning message that says it was an invalid input so we'll say system dot out dot print ln invalid input please enter again and then we'll rescan again we will scan in their answer let's go ahead and save that so let's compile see where our mistakes are before we go too far so it's saying can I find scanner so that means we need to go to the top and import the scanner class so import java dot util dot scanner and this should be reader because we put in we made our instance called reader and not scan it doesn't really what you call the variable you just have to keep using the same one and you should only need one instance of scanner for your entire project alright so our initial compilation is complete and if we run it says would you like to use the full or the section menu and if I type in for my name for instance it'll say invalid input please enter again so I'll type in SEC and then it goes to my sections input so it's working um, so far alright so what happens if they want the full menu so then we go up here and we have to say we need a conditional to check and we, this needs to be after our while loop so we'll say if answer dot equals ignore case full System dot out dot print ln and then we will um, pass in the our instance of menu. So up here is where we created an instance of menu and we called it menu one. So down here we'll say pass in menu one. And Let's just generalize this to menu and menu and we'll see if it works okay. Should. And then we our other option is if they want a section. So we're just gonna let's put a comment in here that says prints full menu and then else and then we're going to tab all of this in so that it's part of our and we'll close the curly brace so then if they want a section it will ask them which section they want and then of course we need to scan in which section they want alright so let's um, check those two things before we go on it says menu is already defined once did we ah oh, yes up here our curly brace is out of whack I mean our comments are out of whack here. 
So that's why we're getting that error. So let's compile again. And we're good to go. So let's run it and test what we have. So now I'm going to say full. And it's printing out the entire men menu. And if I run it again, this time I'll say section. And it's printing out my appetizers, noodles, and I'll type in beverages. And you can see that that part is not working yet. And we will work on that in the next video. See you next time.